and a half. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. And coming up tomorrow, you can be a subscriber of Basil's, and he's going to be doing an outstanding workshop for you. That's going to be a subscriber workshop. It's going to go from 4 to 5.30 Eastern Standard Time. And it's very easy to be a subscriber, folks, okay? The bottom line is that the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You can come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under Featured Content, the opening call, subscriber webinar. Bottom line, you hit that, baby. You're going to subscribe. You get the opening call for 30 days for $149. You can get it for six months for $6.95. You can get it for a year for $11.95. If it works for you, awesome. If for some reason it doesn't, folks, you can cancel it on the 29th day. Guess what? You get a great newsletter. You have a great workshop with Basil tomorrow. And if you can't make it in person, folks, we have some great technology. You can go over and over on your page as many times as you like. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Very well, thank you. Well, first, Basil, can we talk a little bit about what you're going to be teaching tomorrow so that the folks can get an idea about it, then we can go over some of your charts. Is that cool? Absolutely. So there are a couple of things that are going on. I'll just get this right away. There it is. Uh, right. So it's the power of the 914 exponential moving averages and other indicators in the Chapman Wave methodology. So I've been discussing with you just for weeks how I've used the nine-period exponential moving average to tell me that the Dow is starting to roll over and the other indices that already started rolling over, then the other indices first went to sell signals, waited and waited for the Dow to turn around, and finally it did. So that was just one thing that I did live on the show all the time. I actually did some today during my show. And what it does is this. Within the context of the different techniques that I've used, I've tried to simplify for this particular one just to go over and over uh, a few of the techniques that have really worked well. Yes. So the one is this nine period moving average over the 14. And what I had done, and I, I've shown this to you umpteen times, whoops, if I can get the right one, there it is, is I showed you this Dow chart with just these three lines. Um, the gray line is the Dow price, closing price, and the green line is the nine period moving average. It's green when it goes above the 14 and it's pink when it does. You don't have to have the colors or anything. You can have a dashed line or a thin line that crosses over a thick line. It's a very simple technique that you can just put it on your software. Every software package has it and you can use it. So I'll teach you how to use it and what the benefit is. <clears throat> so we waited and waited and I discussed these tops. I don't have to go through that now, but what I was waiting for was a confirmation of any cell signal. But to get the cell signal, you need other tools. So I used another, well, I used two tools. One is, here's the Dow chart on the left. This is the daily, this is the weekly, this is the monthly. And so I'll be teaching this. There's this one-to-one -one extension from a falling ax pattern. That's, uh, I don't want to go into that right now because I can do it on my show tomorrow at 10. But look at this one-to-one -one expansion from the Dow low of 25th of May to the high of the 16th of June. Then it pulls back to the um, mid-June low of uh, uh, 5336 and then look what happened it goes in an almost an equal measure to the upside the whole thing about it it's got this parallel degree of angle so what happens is this sort of set me up to say hey now you can start looking for a sell signal if you follow this blue line look at this blue line the way it gave you this exact low right there that exact low and i was waiting to see if on the august the 1st my anticipation in a shorter time frame was that we were about to make a turn. So we actually went short the Dow uh, right at the high of August the 1st. And look at this blue line, this unbalanced volume. This was to the exact day. Look at that reversal right there. Good old Joe so, Granville. <laughs> that's Joe Granville. But uh, what he... Yeah, he did live to see it put into software, but wow, he used to add up those, you know, 36 million, 530 right. plus, whatever, because it's a running total. Yes. And it means if it, the bar, it doesn't have to be a daily, any bar, if it closes at the high, you add it to your running total. If it closes at the low, you, you subtract it. It's a really simple technique, but look, and most people say you cannot time the top, you cannot time the bottom. But this one got it exactly, so we use that as an indicator. Then the other thing is this. Uh, I'm going to teach how you can use the symmetry of 
the number of bars to the upside to the number of bars to the downside to get to an important level of support, or if it's a cup formation, uh, um, to a level of re resistance. So these are very basic tools that I've used for a long time. Subscribers know exactly how we're using them. So I'm going to use it'll be NVIDIA will be giving its uh, earnings report after the bell tomorrow. So we'll be able to look at the, um, the S&P E-mini and do the one minute chart as if it was a daily chart. And just do the same thing after hours. But I'll also be doing fixed. I'll have charts that we're looking at. But I'll, I'll try to do that because if you can show it live and it works, for instance, we're always looking for a peak D in the Chapman Wave methodology. And right here, I can show you in the... Uh, yeah, it's pretty sweet this. that NVIDIA is going to be coming out the same time you're doing the uh, workshop, Basil. Exactly. <laughs> and that, I mean, I didn't know that at the time, but it's great because this is because we are short the estimations I'll talk about. So we're always looking for the fourth highest peak where you can get a serious pullback. Look, here's the five-minute chart of the E-mini. This is live. Here's your peak D. That's the sharpest pullback we've had in a little while. So these are... I try to make it as um, as practical as possible, sure. as, as simple as possible. When and how to use the 200 period moving average. The 200 period moving average is just sitting there. Uh, there are umpteen charts I actually showed during my, my showing when I sat in for Larry at one o'clock today, how they went to exactly the 200 period moving average. This five minute chart that I was talking about here, look at this five minute chart. Right at the five minutes, it turns around. At the at the 200 period moving average, it turns around. So these are very practical things. And for subscribers, I'll be going through different charts. What we have, um, as I say, we, we let me just do this again. I'll show you that we are short the Dow. Whoops, and you've had quite a pullback in the Dow, and it's still showing weakness. Here's the Dow chart. We are short the SMHs. We're actually aggressively short, but we've taken a little bit of that aggressive, aggressive part off because we had really good profits in the SOXS. That's the three times short. We've got a core position from uh, which would be just about the high right there. That's where we short the um, SMH, the semiconductor Van Eck ETF. All-time high was 161.17 on the 31st. Two days later, before the opening, we went short, and we're still short. And so we're looking at a very practical use of this whole thing, whether it's long. I have, for subscribers, I like to have low price stocks as well as any price that there is. But I also like to have low price. Since we have this EUC, which is Uranium Energy Call. Now I like to look at look. He has the same practical thing. Look, he has the nine period moving average. Look how strong it is, and look how the price just keeps coming down to the 14 and uses the nine as a springboard to move higher. Now it's just about to bump into resistance. But look at this timing of the cup formation. This is, I'm going to show the symmetry, how the number of bars on the left side can match the number of bars on the right. And that says that by the um, 15th of, May, of uh, September, 4.30 should be achieved in the uh, UEC chart. And so folks, this is a stock at $4. It's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come into the workshop tomorrow. Come over to the website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under featured content. You hit that button, subscribe. You're going to get a great newsletter. You're going to get a great workshop tomorrow afternoon as NVIDIA comes out with earnings. You have to love it. Basil, have a great Absolutely. one, safe one. We look forward to the show and the webinar tomorrow. Thank you very much.